Sajen with the Lord. The gospel passage for today's reflection tells us about the unexpected arrival of the master, the entry of the thief and the need of waiting. In this parable of watchful servants, the master has gone to a wedding banquet. His servants are waiting up for him though he is delayed. The three features of a good waiter as described by our Lord Jesus are preparation, maintenance and expectation. The words be dressed ready shows preparation. Keep your lamps burning shows maintenance and be like servants waiting for their master shows expectation. In this gospel Jesus is presented as a master who returns to his home like a thief at an unexpected time. It refers to the second coming of Jesus as universal judge at the end time. If we look into our life we can see that we are under the surveillance of worldly pleasures. This will affect our preparation for the second coming of Jesus. It is our duty to maintain our moral life properly so that the Lord may find us ready to welcome him. Our preparedness for the second coming of the Lord shall instill confidence in us and nobody can steal our hope for eternal life. The followers of Jesus Christ must always be ready for all eventualities in their lives. Whether the master arrives home earlier or later, he will be pleased if the servants are found ready and waiting for him. Jesus is waiting for us at the door of our hearts. So it is our duty to open the door for him when he knocks at it. For a vigilant and prepared servant, he may grant unexpected rewards. The parable takes a strange twist in verse 37. Where roles are reversed, the master serves the servants. Jesus upends the world system by making the poor rich and the rich poor, the meek inherit and the mournful live for joy. Jesus used these illustrations to remind us to be ready always for the coming of the son of man and wait for extraordinary surprises at the end time. Let us reflect.